In this video, we look at how to build an FAQ bot on Yellowrod AI. Generally, an FAQ bot adds a lot of value when you have a huge question bank of just uh, answers that you want to distribute to your end users, whether they're internal or external users, but there's no sort of uh, scalable medium to do so. Uh, so with our bots, you can build an FAQ question bank at scale uh, across multiple languages and works across all channels. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up. So once you create a bot and sign up on our platform, uh, you can head over to overview, go into studio, and this is sort of your home base where all of your automation lies. Within studio, uh, you can head over to train, which is where all of our NLU, the smarts and the brains are behind our bot lies. And inside that we have a subcategory called FAQs, which is divided into the categories, which is sort of self-explanatory. If you have refund related queries, you would put them in the refund category, discount related queries, you would put them in the discount category and so on. Uh, you can add a category by clicking on the plus symbol, just create a category for your own. Uh, questions which are basically uh, different ways to ask the question so if I have a question uh, that can be asked in one way on one channel they, it might be asked in a different way on a different channel and that's what variations enable you to handle and answers are well the answers to the questions so let's look at an example let's make uh, let's ask a question uh, when will my refund when will I receive my order right. uh, and I can say it generally takes 48 to 72 hours for us to deliver it to you and it's a pretty straightforward question and answer. Right? A different way to ask the same question would be uh, how long will it take to receive my order? To get my order. Let's see if that, right? And once this is set up, I'll click on train intents. And training the intent module basically uh, teaches the bot on how to handle similar sentences. So uh, just with these two inputs, we'll be able to handle a lot of sentences that sound just like this. Um, and we'll be able to project this answer to the end user. Uh, and this is how you set up a single FAQ. Now, how do you build this at scale if you have a thousand questions and answers set up? For this, uh, you can create an Excel sheet uh, and, and, and import it as a CSV file. So basically, you'll have your headers as category, the question, the variations of the question and the answer uh, in, in the language that you're going for. So uh, if you're going for English, it'll be answer underscore English or it'll be the other language code that you have. Uh, you'll set up all the categories manually on our platform. So I have all these set up already. So refund processes, discount and registration. I'll set that up on the platform once and have the categories pre-populated. Once they're ready, I'll set up my question bank as well as the answers. I've just highlighted the difference in uh, categories here just so that we can visually see it. So I have questions and refunds, discounts and registrations. Now that I have this file, I will uh, download it as a CSV file. And it has been downloaded. I'll head back into yellow, click on bulk manage, import. And again, you can see that these are the headers uh, of your Excel sheet. I've ignored answer underscore Hindi because I don't want to upload uh, answers in Hindi at the moment. Click on upload file uh, and let it process. Click on upload. And there you go, seven FAQs have been added. Click on train intents. Let the bot sort of learn this model. Um, and, and get the seven answers into the system. Um, and once this is done, I'll also refresh the page quickly and let's head over to testing it out. And for that, you can see discount has been now populated and registration has also been populated with the questions and answers. So let's take a random question, right? Let's take um, what is a cash coupon? How do I claim it? And the answer is a cash coupon is slightly different from a discount coupon and so on and so forth. And if I just paste the question, uh, what is a cash coupon? How do I claim it? I will get the answer. It will automatically identify that this is an FAQ that's already been trained and will provide the answer. Right. Uh, and this is great. This can ha this is good for channels like WhatsApp where a user will type in a question and you want to give a fixed answer. What happens on an interface like a mobile app or a web app or a website, you would probably want to show them some options to select from. So for this, uh, I'll create a simple flow. Call it uh, FAQ prompts and name that in the description as well. Click on create and I'll add a node called the quick reply node. And for now, we'll just give it three buttons. Let's say, please select an option, right? And configure the buttons as well. So I'll say, uh, this works across categories, right? So I'll say, okay, uh, go to the category, let's pick up, okay, I miss my bus, I'm eligible for a refund. That's one of the questions. So just make sure that we get the spelling right. Um, do you have a discount coupon? How do I use it? And the third question is from a different category. Right? And once this is done, let's click on Save Changes. 
and you pretty much have an interface to get started from and i'll just set the fallback in case a user message is something that's not valid so please select a valid option right and after this message comes up we'll detect it will redirect it back to the prompts so how do we test this out uh, let's head back into home uh, let's go on edit and we'll say what first the bot will say hello hey welcome to yellow ai and then we'll just refresh the page so that the flow loads in as well let's give it a second edit and yeah after it says hey welcome to yellow.ai trigger the faq prompts flow in fact click on the home icon you'll see it says hey welcome to yellow.ai we select a valid option and it shows the options as is so if i click on one of these options it'll give the respective answer as well okay. and this took just about five to seven minutes to set it up uh, if you have any questions feel free to raise it on community.yellow.ai thanks